decided I'm going to be revisiting my web GPU series, but just looking at using GLFW as the windower. The reason being that Winit has recently, well, first up, Winit is poorly documented, and that would be fine if they at least were stable. But Winit has been having some issues recently where they've been updating things breaking their own documentation and it's it's just not good it's not good and glfw is pretty standard as a windowing library i'm rambling so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change into a directory where i want to work make a new project this is like after hours okay so i'll just pop in there open up visual studio code just going to do a few or just one thing i'll go to the cargo tunnel and here I'm going to specify my dependencies now there's just one dependency that I'm going to use at this point and that is glfw so I'll say yep we're going to use glfw and nothing else because I'm just going to set up a basic event loop this will pretty much if you open up the glfw crate for rust and you look at their example this will be pretty similar to that but I'm just going to step through it so then I'll go to my main file and in my main file i'm going to set everything up so i'm just going to declare a few usages so we start up our program we're going to make or well, initialize glfw first of all we initialize glfw and there's um, an option here called a callback, and the callback is, yeah, it says here, an error callback. So as per the example, here we could go no callbacks. But I think in the standard example, they use fail on errors. Here we go, fail on errors, and we can see that's imported it for us. But yeah, initialize GLFW. The next thing I'll need is I'll need to create a window. And the way we create a window is we go to that glfw um, context and we say all right create window and i pass in of course the size of the window and then the mode and if we hover over here they don't say all right so for the window mode I'm gonna go GLFW window mode, and we've got a whole bunch of options. Full screen, windowed, okay, fine. I'm just gonna go windowed. Now, if I were to hover over this, it will say that this will actually, it won't give us one thing. It won't just give us a pointer to the window. It will also give what's called a GLFW receiver. And this is separating the window object from the event receiver object. There are, we have a window and an event manager, and those are both created by that create window function. Okay, now it's telling us we can't do this because we need to make this window mutable so that we can change its state. Ah, no worries, we'll just make it a mutable window. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to do my, my main event loop. Okay, so this is the most basic loop we could possibly have. We need to call poll events every frame, otherwise the buffer of event objects will stack up. And yeah, we need to swap buffers so that things are visible. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> um, this is a, whoops, this is a GLFW thing, not a window thing. We could give this a go and we do get a window. Um, so then the question is, can we, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, we can close the window. Okay, that's cool. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set things up so that um, we have some sort of basic event handling procedure and also, if I try this again, I'm gonna set it up so that I can hit escape 
and close the window. Currently I'm hitting escape and nothing's happening. That's not great because at some later point when I do graphics, I may want to capture the mouse, make the mouse invisible, and then I'll use escape as my exit procedure. So let me go ahead and set up this event loop. So we go flush messages and it gives us some events that we can handle. And then with that event, I'm going to check exactly what it is. So we've got a whole bunch of these different sorts of window events that we can handle. We can handle the key press event and the key press event, does it tell me? We have a few of these. We have the key, the scan code, the action and modifier. Really, I just care about the key and the action. So for the key, I'll say escape key. This one is fine. I don't care about it. The action will be press. And then for the final one, again, I don't really care about it. Now this will tell us, hey, you've got other events that you haven't handled. No worries. All we need to do is add in a default. So we can give that a go. And yeah, got that going. Now if I hit escape, still nothing happens. And the reason for that is I actually need to explicitly tell the window to poll for key events. So I can say window, here we go. Um, so if I go window, poll, these are the different options that I have. So I explicitly opt into different sorts, or I can just say set all polling. And a pretty good trick that I use sometimes if I'm not entirely sure, like I know what an event is, but it's not handling it. What I can do is I can set all polling and then in, in the default pattern, print out what the event is. So let me do that now. Hope this works. Hope I, hope I remember how to do print statements. But yeah, in the default case, just print out that event and I can see exactly what it is. So here in this terminal, I can see we have a refresh and a focus. So we've refreshed the window and taken focus of it. Now when I move the mouse, I have a whole bunch of cursor position events. And the really big one is if I hit escape right now. Oh, it works. Of course it works because I set the polling to true, but it would tell me that we had a key event and that was really what I was after. So I can get rid of that, change it back to the, the null event or the null action. And what I'm really after here is I want my key polling to be true. Okay. Cool. So again, we've got the stuff, just hit escape and it closes as normal. Cool. So this is the foundation on which the GLFW stuff will be built. Um, I will probably be re-recording the next video in this series as well, because that's when we get into the actual WGPU stuff, making, well, basically getting the surface from the window, which we create to work with that. Anyway, I hope to see you then. Um, in the meantime, all the best, and I will see you again soon. Bye.